And here is a quick shot of the front cover, and you can see that it does say this is the LG Sunset LTE, which gives you the 4G LTE speed, and it gives you a couple of the things, or the features that it has. It's powered by Android. As a matter of fact, it's Android 5.0, which is Lollipop. It does have a 4.5 inch touchscreen display. It has four 1.2 gigahertz processors, and it comes with a five megapixel camera and a 0.3 megapixel front-facing camera and video recorder. And now I'll just open the box up and let you see what the phone looks like. It gives you a page that gives you all the contact information and activation information. And then underneath the phone you actually see all the features and options that this phone has or offers. And without further ado, let's hop into unboxing this awesome phone and see what goodies lies within. And now you can see everything that was contained inside the package once it's been unboxed. You do have your paperwork that gives you the owner's guide, a little bit of a tool or tutorial on how to set up the phone and how to work. With the phone you have the start here guide and pretty much this is what you do when you activate this. You have to call a certain number, give them the serial number, and then they'll go ahead and activate this or transfer from your existing phone to this phone. You have the phone itself, the back cover, the battery, the USB travel adapter, and then you have a USB cable for connecting it, transferring data, or if you wanted to charge this phone. And so I'll just go ahead and look at the actual phone itself and let you see what all you get with this phone. Now this is a four and a half inch display and it's supposed to have a an HD display. So I'm excited about seeing how that works. Here you also have the front facing camera and I don't see any actual hard physical buttons on the face, so that makes the actual face look a little bit bigger. You do have your speaker area where if you're talking on the phone, you can hear whoever you're talking to. And if you turn it on the side, you can see exactly how thin this is, and it does look pretty thin. Again, I don't see any actual physical buttons on the side of it. On the back, you can see where your SD card goes if you wanted to expand the memory. And this one actually has a SIM card, or what I'm thinking is a SIM card. Yes, it is. It says Micro SIM right here. So this is a SIM card, and I guess that's purely for the 4G LTE data connection. Because the other phones that I've had that are similar, made by TrackPhone and under this Smart Talk plan, they don't have a SIM card. You do see your camera and your flash. Here is your model number and information. It is the LG L33L. And it's on some type of little circuit board or something there. On the other side, I still don't see any type of physical buttons. On the bottom, I do see where you have your charging port for your USB cable. And on the top, you do have your 3.5 millimeter connection jack for your headphones. And I've yet to see an actual power button on this. So I am interested in how this works. As far as the feel of this, it has a good weight to it, and it feels solid. As I shake it, there's nothing that moves or rattles or any noises that, I'm, that I hear. Well, I'll say that. There's something that's shaking, and it could be the SIM card. I'm not sure. But it doesn't feel cheap, like it's going to fall apart. It feels like it's a well-built phone for $100. And now I'll get to the back cover of it, which looked a little bit more interesting than, more, than most back covers. You do see your openings for your camera and possibly the flash or something. And you do have this button here. And the very first thought I have is, since it's underneath the button, this may be one of those phones that you can take a picture with by pressing that. You do have this little grill area for your speaker. And I guess that's where your volume or your the, the majority of your sound is going to come from. You have your logo, Straight Talk and LG. On the inside, you do have some circuitry. And I'm guessing this right here is going to make some kind of contact with the back of the phone. And so now I'll just go ahead and assemble the phone, power it on, and see where it takes me. Now I will put my SD card in right here. Alright, now here's the side profile view of how thick it is when you have it fully assembled with the battery and the back cover on it. 
does have a little bit of a arc or rounded shape but I will go ahead and power this on the only way I can possibly think is holding down the only button that I see all right the phone vibrated LG all right powered by Android and I'll just go ahead and lay this down and zoom in while the setup wizard takes place all right now I'm back after fully setting this up going through the steps that are required to get this activated and now you get to see what the Android 5 lollipop looks like Google now has its own little icon and if you press it you actually see all the Google apps and I think that's pretty cool it's, it's like a shortcut to a shortcut that's how you can access YouTube Google Maps Google Chrome and Google Plus uh, you can add stuff to that by pressing the plus button and then you can select any of these actual apps that you want I'm gonna cancel that and okay you have uh, from these dots you've got three different screens you can scroll through your second screen oh what am I got your second screen has all of your media which is pretty much the same way as that Google shortcut works you've got your gallery and your phone I'm probably going to add videos and maybe music in here but I do like that because it keeps a lot of the clutter off of your home screens you do have your hard buttons down here that are actually icons and what I've learned is this is your back button this is your home button and this button here rather than being like a right click or an alternate setting this is something like um, well let me just show you what it's like okay clear all and then recent apps that's what I was trying to say this actually shows your recent apps so for example if I do Google if I do YouTube and then I click on the home button and I open up my browser and I click on the home button now I'm at the home screen if I press the recent apps it gives me these tiles that I can choose from and I've never seen that before in an, in an operating system by Android so you can toggle between those two or you can actually clear all of those out and close them all okay you can kind of get an understanding of how loud this is and let you see what the high definition screen will display and look at there I'm actually working out now here's one thing that I have noticed that I do not like about a phone that doesn't have physical buttons this right here these little icons don't go away in this video for some reason as well as this top area right here it's actually cutting off part of the video and I'm not sure if that's something that's related to the phone itself or the video I have noticed that there are some interactive icons on YouTube that if you click on you can close and it will go back to the actual full screen where you see everything that's displayed I can't figure out how to remove those so I don't I don't like that that's something I don't want I want to see all screen and no buttons let's see if that button on the back will t take a picture nope it turns it off okay so the button on the back is purely a power button it does not take a picture and after spending a few days with this phone and getting familiar with its buttons and its functions I did realize on the very back where you have your camera and your power button you also have an up and down volume rocker button which is a little recessed and earlier I didn't realize this but if you press the button up it will increase the volume and if you press the button down it will decrease the volume and I'll just show you what that looks like on the phone all right so now you've seen the media side of this phone with cameras recording a video and watching a video as well as a little sound test I'll have to say that for the most part I like all of that because the quality of it is much better than my previous phone the LG Optimus um, what was this Fury fuel the LG Optimus fuel it's a little bit better than that one purely because number one the screen size is much bigger and then the options on this phone is better I'm not sure if I'm on like the absence of physical buttons because I do like this one it has a power button 
and the volume rocker button. So I'm not sure if I like that clean buttonless display as well as I thought I would. And so what do I think about this phone after spending a few hours with it and using all of its options? I do like the screen size and I do like the video quality upgrade of the 5 megapixel camera. The sound of it is real loud or much louder than I'm used to with these type of phones because you pretty much you get a little bit of the good qualities of the expensive phones but you do have to sacrifice a little bit for the price. And this is an actual good in-between phone for bells and, which, bells and whistles features and a good price. Like I said, this is a 4G LTE phone that does have a $100 price tag. You do get that 4.5 inch HD screen and you do have your quad core 1.2 gigahertz processor. And while some of these things are, in my opinion, a little limited uh, without the actual physical buttons and for some reason the icons, and as I watch this I notice that those icons are not really there like they were before so that may just be a an instance where you have uh, certain videos that are just going to show them icons because as I'm as I'm watching this now I'm seeing that it's purely just the full screen you, you, let me see if I can get that glare off of it but there's actually no there's none of those three icons down here where they normally were earlier so uh, obviously I just haven't figured out all the bells and whistles that this phone has or some of the functions that it has as I've went through it for the little bit of time I've had it. Also as far as the specs I do like that this has a quad core 1.2 gigahertz processor. It's a good upgrade and I would suggest this for anyone who's looking for a phone upgrade or if they're getting a new phone. For $100 you get a real good phone. And here are the functions of the phone. 4G LTE connectivity, 4.5 inch touchscreen display, Android 5.0 Lollipop, 1.2 GHz quad-core processor, a 5 megapixel camera, a 0.3 megapixel front-facing camera, a video recorder, Wi-Fi capable, Bluetooth 4.1 wireless technology, MP3 player, Access to over 1 million apps on the Google Play Store. It supports micro SD memory cards up to 32 gigs, but does not include one. Internal memory of 8 gigs. GPS capable. A proximity detector. The battery talk time is up to 10 hours. The standby time is up to 7.5 days. And you get hearing aid capable rated M3 or T4.